what I found. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's a crown. I found it right outside the barn. I was wondering what it was doing on the ground. Bobby, is that you? It's me, Millbox. How's it going? It's going great, except... Except what? Well, Miss Ashley got something really cool in the mail today. That does sound great, Millbox. There's always something cool happening here at the barn. Well, yeah, it is great, but I think a part of it is missing. Really? Yeah, I think I'm missing a piece of her mail. You are? Yes, this has never happened before. I don't know what to do. Well, maybe this is it. Whoa, where did you find that? Just outside the barn. What's it for? I don't know, but I'm almost positive it goes with the stuff that came from Miss Ashley. She's always getting cool stuff in the mail. What did she get? I haven't looked, but I bet it's for something really fun. Will you hold on to this piece too? Sure, bring it on over. On my way. Bye for now, friends. I'll come back later to see what Miss Ashley got in the mail. Hi friends, I'm so glad you're here. Why don't you come sit crisscross applesauce with me so we can get started. Great job. Let's start with our ready rhyme. Put one finger up with me. Awesome, let's do it. Voices disappear as we wiggle our ears. Let's be wise and open our eyes. Shake out the wiggles. Shh, no giggles. Into church we go so God can help us grow, grow. Grow! Great job, friends. That's what we're going to do today. Grow, grow, grow as we learn more about Jesus. But first, let's practice our key passage together. We have a new key passage today, and I'm so excited to show you what it is. Let me grab it from the treasure box. Our key passage for today comes from John 14, 26. John is the book in the Bible, 14 is the chapter, and 26 is the verse where it can be found. It says, but when the Father sends the Advocate as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, He will teach you everything and He will remind you everything that I have told you. John 14, 26. We're going to practice that last part together, friends. So when we say Holy Spirit, make an O with one hand and then symbol like this with your other. And then you go like this in a circle. Try that with me. Good job. Teaches is like this. You put your hands to your head and go away from it. And then when we say everything, we'll go out like this. And then remind, we're going to point to our head with one hand like this. And then everything again. And then when we say told, put your hands around your mouth like you're telling someone something. Okay, let's put it all together. We're going to start with the Holy Spirit. So make your O. Ready? The Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and he will remind you everything that I have told you. John 14, 26. Let's practice it one more time. Ready? Make your O. The Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and he will remind you of everything that I have told you. John 14, 26. Great job, friends. Yes, it's mail time. Let's see if Mailbox has my mail today. Hurry up, Miss Ashley. I know why you're here. For you to tell me a joke? Well, if you insist. No, oh, I really thought that's what you were going to say. What do you call a train that sneezes? Um... A choo-choo train! <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck! <laughs> that was a good one, Mailbox. Now, did we get anything in the mail today? Yeah, your really cool package came. It did? Do you like it? Oh, I didn't look, but I know it's cool. Everything you get in the mail is cool. You got that right, Mailbox. Can I have it? Sure. Uh... Oh, wow, it is here. Thanks, Mailbox. I'm so glad it came today. Miss Ashley, what you got there? Oh, 
Hi, Bobby, you startled me, but I'm really glad you're here. Friends, let's all say, hey, 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 Bobby. Hey, 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 friends. Miss Ashley, Mailbox told me that you got something really cool in the mail today. Is that it? Sure is. I'm going to use it to help show our friends how Jesus prayed. Jesus prayed? Really? He did. Jesus did all the things we do while he was here on earth. In fact, Jesus did all the things we're supposed to do while he was here on earth. He's a great example. Like what? Well, Jesus talked about God and he talked to God. He helped other people and he read his Bible. But why did Jesus need to read the Bible? He already knew all of it, right? You're right, but Jesus wanted to help other people understand the Bible. Jesus taught sermons from God's Word, just like Pastor Gary does at our church, but even better. He did? He sure did. Do you two want to hear the story of one of Jesus' sermons where he taught everyone how to pray? Sounds fun! Let's do it! Okay, then let me grab my Bible and we'll see what God has to say. Did Jesus' Bible make that sound? <laughs> Maybe, but God's Word was written on a scroll back in Bible times. So, everyone heard hallelujah when they opened the scroll? <laughs> Maybe so. Let me see if I can find our story for today. Here it is. Our story today is called the Sermon on the Mount. But let's pray and talk to God together before we read the Bible. Will you all clap with me on the count of three? One, two, three... Put your hands in your lap and repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for the Bible. Thank, thank you, you for, for the Bible. Bible. Help us to be quiet and still. Help, Help us to be quiet and still. So we can hear from you today. So we, we can, can hear from you today. We love you. We love you. In your name we pray. In your, in your name, name we pray. pray. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Now we're ready to read the Bible. How can we help? Well, I'm going to need both of you and all of our friends to help once we get to the prayer. But let me tell you a little bit about the sermon first. Okay, ready when you need us. Perfect. Here we go. This is the story of the Sermon on the Mount. Crowds of people would follow Jesus wherever he went. One day, Jesus went and sat on a mountain, and he started to teach about God's kingdom. What did he say? He said, Blessed are those who are poor in spirit for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. He said the poor are blessed? Yep, he sure did. Remember, last week we learned that God sees things differently than us. Right. When we're blind, he helps us see. Billy told me that. Exactly. Jesus was trying to help us understand that true blessings come from God, so it doesn't matter how much money we have here on earth. Whoa, he does see things differently than us. He sure does. Next, Jesus taught how people who believed in him should live. I believe in Jesus. Me too. Then this is for you. But Jesus was talking to the people back in Bible times. He was, but Jesus' words are always true. So they're still for us today. So how should we live? Well, Jesus said that we should be light in the dark world. What do you mean? I'll show you. Whoa, I don't like the dark. Most people don't, but the light, even just a little light, makes it not dark anymore. Jesus said that we should be light so we can help others see the good things. You mean helping others see things like God sees them? Exactly just like God does for us. Next, Jesus taught about God's law. Jesus probably made new laws, right? Actually, Jesus taught how important it was to follow the laws that God had already given. But Jesus said it was even more important why we followed the laws. Huh? Well, Jesus wanted us to follow the laws because we love God not because we don't want to get in trouble. That makes sense. Okay, help others see things the way God sees them so they aren't blind. We'll be the law because we love God. Okay, what else did Jesus say? Next, Jesus taught the people how to pray like he did. 
I want to pray like Jesus too. We should want to do everything like Jesus. He's our perfect example. Tell us what Jesus said. Okay, this is where I need my package. I always knew the meal was important. Jesus said, when you pray, pray like this. Say, God, we love you. Let's use a heart to help us remember to always tell God that we love him. Friends, you can make a heart with your hands like this, too. Great job. I do love God. I want to tell him. Me, too. What came next? You are king. Kings wear crowns. They sure do. Oh, no. There's supposed to be a crown in here. We have it. You do? I found the crown outside the barn. The mailbox said it might be yours. Oh, yay. Where is it? I have it right here. Uh... <laughs> oh, perfect. Thanks, guys. Happy to help. Friends, you can make a crown on top of your head, too. Great job. So, God is king. What comes next? Next we say, give us what we need. What kind of things do we need? Well, we need a house to live in, and clothes, and water, and food, too. Since we're talking about things we need, let's hold our hands out like this to help us remember that God gives us what we need. All right. But it is a good reminder. We definitely need those things. Then we pray, forgive our sins. That's right. We have to say sorry for our sins. Friends, let's use the cross to help us remember to ask for forgiveness. We can make a cross with our arms, too. The cross is a great reminder. What do we pray next? Next we pray, help us forgive others. You mean when people are unkind to us? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Hold on, let me just move these up a little bit. Perfect. God can help us to forgive others. I bet it makes God happy when we forgive others. It sure does. That's why we're going to use this smiley face to help us remember. Friends, you can point to your smiles too. Great job. After that, we pray, please protect us. From what? Well, God can protect us from anything that's dangerous or scary or bad. Just like a shield protects you from getting hurt. Let's use our arms to make a shield in front of us like this. Good job, friends. That makes me feel very safe. What comes after that? Last, we say, help us do right things. God will always help us make the right choice. He sure will. Friends, will you put two thumbs up with me? Great job. And that's the end of the prayer. Then we say, Amen. Amen. Yep. Do you two want to practice the whole thing with me and all of our friends? Yes, please. Okay, friends. Let's start at the top. Repeat after me, and you can use your hand signals too. Ready? Say, God, we love you. God, we love, love you. you. Then say, you are king. You, you are, are the king. king. Then we say, give us what we need. Give us what we need. Then we say, forgive our sins. Forgive our sins. And then we say, help us forgive others. Help, help us forgive, forgive others. others. And then we say, please protect us. Please protect us. And then last we say, help us do right things. Help, help us do right, right things. things. Amen. Amen. Great job. Jesus' friends were really happy that he taught them how to pray like he does. And I'm really glad that we learned this great prayer together, too. I like that prayer. Is this the prayer I should always pray? Well, Bobby, Jesus taught us some really good things to pray.
but God hears us no matter what we say. So I can tell God all about my day? Absolutely. Even if all the mail got lost and it was the worst day ever? Yeah, even if it was a bad day or a good day or in any kind of day. God knows us and he always wants us to talk to him, just like Jesus did. Jesus really was a great example for us. He sure was. Jesus taught people what it means to follow him. He taught how people should live, how they should treat one another, and how to love God. Wow, that's so cool. Jesus is awesome. I knew Jesus came to earth to save us, but I had no idea that he helped so many people and taught people all about God first. Yeah, it's really important for us to remember that Jesus came to earth to save us. That's why we practice it every week in God's plan for me. His life here on earth is really important too, and we can learn a lot from it. Can we practice God's plan for me? Ooh, I know it. God rules, we sinned, God provided, Jesus gives, we respond. Great job, Mailbox. Let's all practice that together. Friends, why don't you stand up with me and put your crowns up? Okay, ready, friends, on the count of three. One, two, three. God rules, we sinned, God provided, Jesus gives, we respond. Great job, friends. Now let's do it super fast. Remember, do it as fast as you can and then sit back down. Let's race this time. If I sit down first, I win. Ready? Crowns up. One, two, three. God rules, we sinned, God Jesus respond. respond. Great job, friends. I hope you've been practicing that at home. Remember, Jesus came to earth to save us. But first, he lived on earth and he taught us how to follow him, how to help others, how to love God, and how to pray to God. Let's pray to God right now. Will you clap with me on the count of three? One, two, three. Put your hands in your lap and I'm going to pray for us. Dear God, thank you for knowing us and wanting us to talk to you. Thank you for always hearing our prayers. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to go teach the prayer to Billy. Oh, I'll come with you. But first, let's say goodbye to our friends. Friends, I had such a great time with you today. Me too. So did I. And we can't wait until next week when we all come back so God can help us grow, grow, grow. Bye. Bye.